feel like a lot of people nowadays want to start a YouTube channel solely to make money or to like show off their popularity with the amount of subscribers that they have. I mean, yeah, what other reason is there to start a YouTube channel? Just look at David Dobrik, dude's a legend and he can give away Teslas. If that's you, then immediately click away from this video. Alright. In the grand scheme of your true and sincere happiness, none of these things are important. Instead, I'm here to tell you why starting your very own YouTube channel for all the right reasons, even in the year 2022, can drastically change the way you see yourself in a much deeper sense. Creating and committing to posting your very own content on your very own YouTube channel is basically like you signing yourself up for the most insane, crazy roller coaster ride with your own emotions. Now, sometimes you'll find yourself throwing your hands in the air screaming, other times you're upside down and you're like what the heck now I'm upside down and then other times you're so so dizzy that you want to vomit all over the place all of which makes this ride so worth it in the sense of self-discovery and personal growth I learned two main things making videos every single week this year and those things are discipline and self acceptance. I like to look at my YouTube channel as a reflection of myself. I made a promise to myself at the beginning of this year to put out a video every single Wednesday for the entire year. I have made the decision for 2021 to put out a new video every single week. Every single week. Now to some, it probably doesn't sound like a big deal, but let me tell you, when I scroll and I see all of these videos that I put out every single Wednesday this year that I personally filmed, edited, and put out every single Wednesday, I can't believe it. Oh, I can't believe it. It was a lot of work. Okay, because not only was I putting content on my own channel every single Wednesday, I was also making content for other brands. I was live streaming every week on Twitch. I'm working at the pizzerias. I'm trying to like live my life, you know, not go insane, stay happy. And it was a lot of work, my friend, to do this. But I loved that I made the decision to do it because I wanted to prove something to myself by putting these videos out every single Wednesday. I did not miss a single Wednesday, by the way. I never like needed to take a day. I couldn't edit in time. I couldn't film a video in time I never came up with an excuse ever because it was that serious to me I really saw the value in this YouTube channel because this YouTube channel like I said is a reflection of myself I felt like if I broke that commitment of posting every Wednesday I'd be breaking a commitment with myself and I just felt like that was not a healthy relationship with me and myself I needed to make it happen I mean when you think about it we all have the same 24 hours like literally you me Blake Lively Elon Musk we all have the same amount of time to do whatever it is that we want to do in this life. And let me just slap you across the face with a hard truth. If it's important to you, you'll make it happen. If it's not important to you, you'll make an excuse. So this YouTube channel, my dreams, something that makes me so happy, was so important to me that I never made an excuse and I always made sure I had a video out every single Wednesday. And I feel so good that I can say that. I feel like this year was so important for my relationship with myself. Like I look at her, I look at myself in the mirror and I'm just like, you really did that. And I'm like, I know. And it's all because of my YouTube channel. This process, this growth, this whole relationship I have with it. It's taught me so much about myself and I really truthfully think it could teach you so much if you started one too. Now for everybody saying, I'm scared to put myself out there. I don't want to put myself on the internet. Oh my gosh, it lives on there forever. What's scarier than putting yourself on the internet in the year 2022? I'll answer that. Nothing. Absolutely nothing is scarier than putting yourself online in the year 2022 because so many people can see it. It is the single most terrible terrifying thing you can possibly do. I mean, people you personally know can see you, your coworkers can see you, strangers can see you, or even worse, your future self can watch you years later. Now, I know this all sounds so cringe or uncomfortable, but when you change your mindset, putting yourself on the internet or on YouTube can be the best thing you ever do for yourself. I mean, look at me. I'm still standing. I'm still putting content out. People have told me, oh my gosh, get plastic surgery. Your nose is too big. Oh my gosh, your channel's not funny. This is stupid. Oh my gosh, the only reason you have people who watch you is because they thought you'd be with Gokhan. Literally all these stupid comments that if I really were insecure, I would stop making videos. I'd be like, oh my gosh, you win. I can't make this stuff anymore. I'm just so hurt. Or I change my mindset and I say, these are just words. By making a YouTube channel and putting out content you truly believe in, in a beautiful way, it's kind of like you taking yourself and your dreams 
seriously. You know, I've talked to so many people who have applauded me for starting my YouTube channel and sticking with it. And nowadays I see so many people that I personally know starting YouTube channels, posting two videos, and then like never posting again. And I always think to myself, was it too much to them to like commit to themselves by putting out content? Did they not take it or take themselves seriously? Did someone dislike their video or post a negative comment about them so they decided to stop? The sad reality is that many people don't do what they really want to do because they're scared of judgment from other people. I mean, if I were to wait until I was perfect to start my YouTube channel, I literally never would have posted a video. And that's what I think is actually so cool when I look at my channel, the first video I ever posted was the tea on not caring. Because I knew people were going to judge me, even at that time. I feel like I've grown so much from posting that first video. I was terrified to put myself out there. I was like, oh my god, people are going to think I'm weird, especially like, I dressed up as Geo. I thought that was even more like, scary to do because I'm dressing up as like, the stupid guy, like are people going to think I'm weird, and then a part of me was like, I think this is funny. I think that's the best way to start my channel. Like, I don't care. I'll dress up as Geo. I'll be stupid. I feel like that was such a statement, not only to the world, but to myself that who cares? It was my first video. The T I'm not caring. I don't care what you think about me. If you think I'm stupid, unsubscribe, unfollow me. If you think it's funny, then cool. Follow me on this journey. That's literally what it was. And I just think that it's so insane how many people don't want to start doing what they truly want to do because they're scared of the judgment of other people who probably don't have a life anyway. And it's even worse when you judge yourself. I mean, I'll sit down to edit and I'll watch little tics that I do. And I'm like, why do I do this? This is so weird. Like, people are going to judge me for doing this tic and I have to sit there and be like, you're stupid, Juliana. I have to cut this out because you look stupid. Now I'm just like, this is who I am. Accept it. Another benefit of accepting yourself is you actually improve all the relationships in your life by accepting yourself because you start to empathize with others. You start to see that they're not perfect and you know that you're not perfect so you can accept them fully for who they are. When people judge other people or when people have problems with other people, it's really just a reflection of how they feel about themselves. So the moment you actually accept yourself is the moment you accept everyone around you. And that doesn't mean all of a sudden everybody around you is perfect, but it means you have empathy for these people and that you understand them, that they're human and they're not perfect. Just like you accept yourself for being human and that you're not perfect. And this is the awareness I want to share with all of you today. This is something I've learned through the journey of my YouTube channel. Actively trying to self-accept and love myself. Under a microscope, on YouTube, the second most visited website in the entire world. This is the best thing you can do for yourself. It's not taking baby steps. You are taking a big step. And I think about all these people and all this energy coming to me, directly to me, and I feel like there's nothing I could do to, you know, spring myself forward in growth than to really put my out there like that and that might sound so scary to some of you but let me tell you it is so worth it you know I sit here today reflecting on this entire year this entire journey of putting out videos every week and I think about look what it's done for me look how much it's helped me with self-growth look how much it's disciplined me look how much it's helped me understand others when they want to attack me with negative comments or dislike my videos look how much it's done for me look how much it's helped me grow with a capital G look what it's done and I can't help but think about what if everybody started a YouTube channel what if everybody put themselves out there like this what if everybody created vlogs <laughs> What if everybody created content they truly believe in, not because they want money from ads or they want to be popular with subscribers, but strictly because they believe in it and it's their dream and they want to share it with the world and put themselves out there? Imagine what the world would be like. Basically what I'm trying to say is that if you've always dreamed of starting a YouTube channel and you think it's too late for you, oh my gosh, I could have started in 2015, it would have been so much better, I'm here to tell you that it's never too late to start. Start today. And if you put it off, you're not actually taking yourself seriously. This is something that everybody can learn from, everybody can take something away here. You will love and enjoy your life so much more. I feel like when I reflect on this year, I see so much that I did. I had no idea at the time when I made this promise to myself to document every single week of this year. I never knew what would come out of it. I never knew I was going to find the holographic Pikachu or what else have I done?
making these videos every single week was me getting inspired about my own life and sharing it with others and hopefully inspiring them to do the same. Like I said, this channel is a reflection of myself, how I see myself. It's almost like the more people who connect with it, the more people who watch my channel and my content believe in me too. And it's something that is so special to me. I'm really like, I don't know, I don't do this, I don't do this. It is so special to me when people say these videos are something they look forward to. It brings smiles to their faces. It makes them inspired. Like there's nothing else that means more to me. I remember when I first started, all I wanted to see were a lot of subscribers. That's all I cared about. I just wanted to see subscribers. I wanted to make funny videos. I loved doing it. And I just wanted to see my subscriber count go up. And now I sit here and I'm just like, so what? I mean, yeah, it's cool to have a lot of subscribers. That'd be great. But in the end, what I've learned is that it's not about the subscribers. It's about the way you view and accept and love yourself. That's what I'm here to tell you today. That is the insight. That is what I found. That is why you should start your own YouTube channel. Not for any other reason. Everything else is a perk. Making money off ads, a perk. Getting subscribers, a perk. The only thing that matters is the way you view yourself and the way you grow through your channel. And putting out content you truly believe in and that helps you get inspired about your own life. That is what this entire video and this entire channel is all about. I really just want to say thank you so much for watching me and believing in me and connecting with me. It is the most beautiful thing I could ever imagine. You know, learning about myself, putting myself out there and having true genuine people from all over the world connect with me. There's nothing that makes me happier. Like literally, this is the reason I get out of bed. It's just the most beautiful thing. If I keep talking about it, I'll probably start crying. You can probably hear in my voice right now. Like literally, it means so much to me. It's like, what's really the meaning of life? Like I just want genuine human connection. I just want to put myself out there. I want to inspire others because I feel like these days that is so lost. People are so skeptical, people don't trust others, hope is lost, like that whole idea I think is so sad and I want to be a symbol of light, I want to connect with other people, I want to show them that it's okay to put yourself out there and to get inspired about your life because you only have one life, you only have today, you only have right now, this beautiful perfect moment, there's no other moment better than right now. I hope everybody watching this thinks at least about starting their very own YouTube channel, it's free, if you have a smartphone you're watching it off of probably smartphone or laptop that has a camera, you can start one. Just do it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Until next video, happy new year to you. I love you all so, so much. You're all my beautiful friends. I'm so appreciative of each and every one of you. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for believing in me. And thank you for watching me. Until next time, ciao. I love you, I love you, I love you. <laughs>